Hey guys, welcome back to another Sean Solo 8 video. Today we're going over Cardoon. Cardoon, Caradoon. There is a lot of controversy about how to say her name correctly, but we'll go with Cara or Cara or whatever goes with the flow during this video. This one here you can find at lots of retailers. She is number 101 in the Black Series collection. And she has some pretty cool box art with an awesome little rebel tattoo underneath her eyelid there. And Cara Dune on the side. There's the UPC code for anybody still hunting for her. Uh, in the box, you can see you could actually leave her in there if you wanted. Uh, and she also has a little tattoo. We'll get a closer look at that here in a minute. Uh, she comes with a blaster, dagger, and this heavy artillery, uh, artillery pff, rifle. And the box art looks pretty good, too. Uh, she does have a small little bio on the back. If you guys want to pause that and read it, feel free to. Uh, but without further ado, let's open up Cardoon and see what she looks like. All right, guys, I'm back, and I got Kara, 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 Kara out of the package, uh, and I'm just going to go over her accessories. This is the uh, big old rifle that she comes with. There's uh, a lot of detail in there. That looks pretty darn uh, awesome. Even little holes in the nozzle. Uh good job hasbro great job great job on the paint there's even a little weathering on the handle down there that's a really really nice touch this is like a little soft plastic and it slipped on right there i'm not sure if that's the way uh it normally goes but we're gonna keep it that way she also comes with this little dagger which we see her use in the show and there's detail on the handle there and on the actual blade itself so again good job on that uh the pistol she comes with looks great also and i will try to get it in her hands here and show you guys here in a little bit uh, but overall the face looks very much like her on the TV show. Uh, you can see the little tattoo above her eye there. I'll try to get a close up of that for you. You can see it looks really, really good. Uh, tattoo on her arm. All the detail on her back and paint, on her shoulders. There's some pretty cool weathering on her armor all over the place. Looks great. Okay. So let's check out her articulation. Uh, her head does move just a little bit there. Uh, it does go to the side which looks really cool and good too. So either way, posing her head is gonna look really good. This is all hard and stuck to her back. Her shoulders, again, those plate, plates are kind of soft rubbery, so her arms do go up pretty good there. Uh, she does have a swivel in her arm on both sides there. Uh, her elbows have a pretty good bend. Her wrist and elbow does turn and her hand does turn too. Uh, this arm, same thing. Nice bend in there. And her wrist, cool weathering on her wrist there. Uh, waist wise, uh, I think all the black series are going like that. Uh, she does twist also. Uh, leg wise, she sits really good. Knees 
uh, that's really easy to bend in these. Actually, this one's pretty cool. It comes with like a knee cap on there with weathering too. Uh, little stuff on her leg. The feet are your typical Black Series feet. Looks like they swivel side to side also. Uh, there is a little hole uh, down in her boot there. I believe that's where her dagger is going to go. Yeah, because that's where it was in the show too. I don't know how far it'll go in there. I don't want to force it and break it, but I'm going to leave it there so I don't lose it. And then her holster it looks like the Mandalorians where it has that cool little uh, thing on the side there. But the gun is going to go in nicely too. So again, on display, it's going to look great. Very cool. Very, very cool. And then this gun, uh, we'll have to see how she's going to hold it here. How easy it's going to go in her hand. Uh, I'll set that up and I will come back and show you guys. But, uh, excellent figure. You can even see the little braid in her hair there. Looks really cool. Uh, she stood right out of the box for me, perfectly. As you can see right there, too. Uh, she looks really good. Let's check her out next with the Mandalorian. He doesn't want to stand. He looks good, too. Uh, if you haven't seen my Mandalorian video, check it out. If you guys are still here and watching this video, uh, throw a like on it. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more Star Wars. Uh, so far, I've gotten all the, uh, except for the off-world Jawa, I do not have him yet. But I have gotten uh, the Mandalorian Heavy is on the way. So he'll be pretty cool to add to the collection. Uh, but Cardoon looks definitely awesome, guys. Let me put her gun in her hand and show you a couple more poses. All right, cool. I've got the gang together here, and let's go over one last look over Cara Dune. I uh, I did put her holding her heavy weapon, which looks totally awesome. Super cool, Hasbro. Great job, great job. Uh, the dagger does fit uh, deep into her boot. I pushed it down there really good, so it's just like the TV show. Looks really cool. Uh, her holding the gun looks awesome. I'm going to set her up on my shelf just like that. What do you guys think? Are you having a hard time finding her? Uh, I know walmart.com. Uh, that's where I got mine. So, again, guys, if you like the video, throw a like down there. And subscribe to the channel to see more future Star Wars action figures. So, I'll see you guys again on the other side. Thanks again for watching.